little is known about his life. Aristotle was born in the city of Stagira in northern Greece. His father, Nicomachus, died when Aristotle was a child, and he was brought up by a guardian. At 17 or 18 years of age, he joined Plato's Academy in Athens, and remained there until the age of 37. Shortly after Plato died, Aristotle left Athens and, at the request of Philip II of Macedon, tutored his son Alexander the Great beginning in 343 BC. He established a library in the Lyceum, which helped him to produce many of his hundreds of books on papyrus scrolls. Though Aristotle wrote many elegant treatises and dialogues for publication, only around a third of his original output has survived. While he was young, Aristotle learned about biology and medical information, which was taught by his father. Aristotle's views profoundly shaped medieval scholarship. The influence of physical science extended, from late antiquity in the early Middle Ages into the Renaissance, and were not replaced systematically until the Enlightenment and theories such as classical mechanics were developed. Some of Aristotle's zoological observations found in his biology, such as on the hectocotyl, reproductive, arm of the octopus, were disbelieved until the 19th century. He also influenced Judeo-Islamic philosophies during the Middle Ages. Aristotle was revered among medieval Muslim scholars as the first teacher, and among medieval Christians like Thomas Aquinas as simply the philosopher. While the poet Dante called him the master of those who know. His works contain the earliest known formal study of logic, and were studied by medieval scholars such as Peter Abelard and John Buridan. Aristotle's influence on logic continued well into the 19th century. In addition, his ethics, though always influential, gained renewed interest with the modern advent of virtue ethics. Aristotle has been called the father of logic, biology, political science, zoology, embryology, natural law, scientific method, rhetoric, psychology, realism, criticism, individualism, teleology, and meteorology. When Aristotle is believed to have composed many of his works, he wrote many dialogues, of which only fragments have survived. Those works that have survived are in treatise form and were not, for the most part, intended for widespread publication, they are generally thought to be lecture aids for his students. His most important treatises include physics, metaphysics, Nicomachean ethics, politics, on the soul and poetics. He died on Eubea of natural causes later that same year, having named his student Antipater as his chief executor, and leaving a will in which he asked to be buried next to his wife.